Okay, I want to begin by going through a few examples in trigonometry, or the topic that's otherwise known as trigo. Now, in this first uh, little YouTube, I want to do um, an easy example. Okay, so let's just begin. Let's begin with an easy example because it's important to build up. Okay, let's start with the question. Sine theta is equal to minus a half. Okay, so how do we solve this equation? Well, this is the technique for doing it. The first thing that you write down is what's called the basic angle, which we're going to write as BA. Now, you get this basic angle by ignoring the minus sign in the question. Oops. Ignoring the minus sign in the question and just looking straight at the formula sheet. So on the formula sheet, sin, look up sine theta, look up a half, and what you'll see is pi on 6. Okay. Then the next thing to ask is what quadrant is the solution in? Okay, and this, this is an important thing. It's often useful to memorize this picture here. Okay, so let's have a, um, a set of axes which has four quadrants. There's quadrant one, there's quadrant two, there's quadrant three, and there's quadrant four. Okay, in quadrant one, the solution is always just the basic angle. In quadrant two, the solution is always pi minus the basic angle. And we're working in radians in all of these questions. In quadrant 3, the solution is pi plus the basic angle, and in quadrant 4, it's 2 pi minus the basic angle. Okay, I suggest that you memorize that because it's a very helpful table. Okay, so when we're looking at sine theta equals minus a half, then we're really asking what quadrants is sine negative in. Now, can you remember what quadrant sine is negative in? Often we have this thing, C-A-S-T. Um, people have different different meanings for those four. Um, but basically it means in, in the first quadrant here, all sine, cos and tan are positive. All trigonometric uh, functions are positive. In the second quadrant, only sine is positive. In the third quadrant, only tan is positive. And in the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive. So the question being which quadrants is sine negative in? Well if it's positive in 1 and 2 then it'll be negative in 3 and 4. So you should actually write down that the solutions are in 3 comma 4. Okay. So therefore if solutions are in 3 and 4, then they'll be pi plus basic angle and 2 pi minus basic angle. So therefore, theta will be pi plus pi on 6 and 2 pi minus pi on 6. Now pi, think about pi as 6 pi on 6 and think about 2 pi as 12 pi on 6, because that makes the arithmetic easier. So therefore the final answer is 7 pi on 6 and 11 pi on 6. Okay. Now, let's just say that this question has asked us to solve sine theta equals minus a half for theta is an element of naught to 2 pi. Okay. Well, we can that is the solution just down here. Um, that is our answer just here. 7 pi on 6 and 11 pi on 6. Probably important to see what this answer looks like. Just even briefly. On a graph. Now we know that the sine curve looks like like this. Where this is 2 pi and this is pi. So what was the question really asking? Sine theta equals minus a half. 
Well, if down here is minus 1, then minus a half will be here. So what we're really solving this question is we're finding these two points of intersection. Okay. So what we've found is that here is 7 pi on 6, and here is 11 pi on 6. Do you need to draw this graph? No, you don't. But I just for now want you to understand what you're actually finding in terms of the graph. Okay, so that's the easiest example, and we'll move on to harder ones.